Hey guys, it is truly exclusive back again. And this is a question I had, so I'm gonna just share with you guys um, because I know this confused me a little bit when I first jumped into the game. Now, for the people that don't have the game, what's gonna happen is once you jump into the multiplayer, you have to play 10 games. It's kind of similar to the Halo Reach um, arena style, um, but all the playlists have that same type of ranking system. So basically any players you jumped into, you have to play 10 games. And what happens is they put you into a category um, based on your performance, right? Okay, so the category goes as follows. There's bronze, then you'll see silver, gold, platinum, diamond, onyx and then champion so to break this down really quickly um basically um they're going to be looking at things such as your win loss ratio your kd ratio um and how you were contributing to the team so just to give you a little bit um of information on my personal um doings when i first started off i was actually put into uh, the platinum um i guess area rank system here going on so basically what happens is um i don't know if they start you off at the first tier particularly um i can't really say so yes or no on that but i started off at the first tier of platinum which is the one that you see me putting the mouse around okay so basically now um after playing you know a good another five games i've been put into the third tier of it so each one has six tiers you need to go through in order to level up to the next one now Diamond is where it gets interesting. Um, diamond, um, just to tell you what this says really quickly, actually has a little bit of a different way for you to progress. So once you reach the diamond, it becomes more of a team-based ranking system rather than a personal performance ranking system. This one is actually stating that once you hit the first tier of this, only way that you can progress um, to a higher tier within this level or any level um is by you winning no matter how good you do if your team does not win the game then you cannot rank up this actually becomes a very interesting concept because for people that have very bad teammates that won't be good it will require people to go in with a team and on top of that um it'll make people sacrifice their kd ratios which would be hard for a lot of people including me because i don't like to you know sacrifice that but to get to this point that's what's going to need to be done now going down a little bit really quickly here um once you do go through that and you achieve the next rank you can get onyx or champion so onyx is this you know as a lot of people remember from halo reach um it's just the highest rank you can achieve so once you have that golden right okay so to get to champion um this actually is something award to people who are in the top 200 um so this is going to be your i guess you can say top of the line players here will only have this so that is just a quick breakdown of uh the halo 5 ranking system um fond of it personally um it's okay i think it's going to be a very interesting concept and it's going to give people something to work for. Um, keep in mind, it is a lot harder to achieve than it was in Halo Reach. Um, after playing 10 games, you're not jumping instantly to Onyx. Um, you're going to be put into one of the tiers 9 times out of 10. So progression is going to be a little bit difficult. And if someone achieves it, it actually will be well-deserved. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please take the time.